everyone, welcome back. Today I want to share with you the opening of my new Featherweight 221. And this is wonderful. This is my 50th birthday. I'm so excited. So I started opening the box, but then I figured I'd love to share it with everyone out there because, you know, this is exciting. Anyway, uh, yes. <laughs> so here goes. Um, it came in this, it was packaged in the box, really nice, and with a bow of rickrack. And then I opened it, it was wrapped in this brown paper. And then it came, then we had this little teal bag, and it has the little featherweight in front of it. And this is from the featherweight shop. So, so this is a fully restored featherweight, right? So let's see all the goodies in here. Okay, this is this is the greaser. So this is oil because all machines need oil. And it's let's see, let's open this. Ooh, fancy schmenchy. So, and then there's instructions on how to do everything. I'll open that later. Okay, so, and then here's all oh, this little box. Not sure, I love the rickrack, it's so cute. Anyway, this is amazing how they take all this time to package everything and wrap it all up. Okay, let's see what's in here. Ooh. So this is, let's see if I can open it. So it says Singers. So this is an original little box from the company. Oh, how cool. So in this little box, I have needles, and here's a little screwdriver, and these are all the feet. So there's all these feet, they're in the little bags, and bobbins, and yep, more feet, and this looks like it's a ruffler. Oh, yes, I'm excited for these little goodies. Okay. Oh, so exciting. All right. So we'll put that on the floor. Let me see if we can adjust the camera so you can see down a little bit. And then, so this here, oh, hold on. There's also, I think this is the manual because they wrapped everything individually. How cute! Yep. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. The way they did everything. Oh, this is the little manual. Okay. And let's see what else. And then, oh, so we have a, this is a maintenance logbook. So I guess in here I write down whenever I oil it. Let's see what I am supposed to do with this little logbook. So I guess this is to just have some documentation of the maintenance for this machine. So let's see. I've never, okay, so I would put the model number, the serial, manufacture date, owner's name, my name. <sighs> okay, yep. And then I just keep track of everything. So, pretty cool. All right. And then, and then, and then, and then. So here we have, this is a spool holder. So you can put your spool horizontal. So you see, 
See how they have a little picture right there? And that's what it is. Let's see what has. Okay, so here's another oiler. So I'm not sure. I have to read what the other ones because I have two. The other oil container said motor oil. So maybe it's for cleaning or something like that. Ooh. And then oh <laughs> I can get it. And a spool of Orofil thread, which Yes, super, super exciting because I love, this is my favorite thread. You know what, I'm gonna turn on this light. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't matter, looks like I have little, <laughs> no makeup. This is all natural. All right. Here is the big one. So I'm really, really excited. Let's first look at the case cover. Look at this fabric. Can you see that? It's so pretty. All right. I'm gonna try to take it out. Okay. is a heavy machine <laughs> and because I don't know how it's totally wrapped inside I think I'm gonna unwrap as much as I can before I start pulling it and kind of like damaging something so I'm gonna take this wrap off because I can't lift it it's really heavy really exciting it's like really wrapped so they wrapped the machine in this put it in here but before they wrapped it in this they put like some shrink wrap oh Remove everything. Can we see her? Oh my goodness. Let me adjust this a little bit. I'm sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I'm all over the place. I wasn't planning to record this. And so I figured it would be wonderful to share this with everyone out there because, you know, I always wonder how they wrap these things. So, let's see. Wow, look at her. Oh my goodness. Can you see her? Wow. I have to take a picture of her. Hold on a second. Clean that lens because you know, we get fingerprints on the back of your lens. And if you ever see that your photos are blurry, that's why it's usually a smudge. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I'm so excited.
Oh my gosh. She's beautiful. So I'm assuming that in one of these packages is the little thing that goes, the little lid. Let's see if I can open it. They really taste this. Mm. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my gosh. And this is her. <laughs> Thank you. I'm in awe. I'm I'm so <laughs> ah, I just wanna cry. Yep, this is it. I'm so afraid to Touch her. <gasps> so this would go here. Yeah. What? Or is it like this? No, I think it's this way, right? I have to look at my other one. Oh. Let's see. So I unscrew this little. Oh my gosh, everything is beautiful. And then you put her. And if I'm not mistaken, that's where you oil it. Or you can. I guess that's where I will put the motor oil. I need a screwdriver. Okay, so I'm gonna get a screwdriver um, in a little bit. And then, oh, here, look, I have a little screwdriver, it came in the bag. So I'm hoping this will work. Yes. She's beautiful. Can you see her? Can you see her? Oh my gosh. She's gorgeous. All right, let me lift all of this and just Wow, I feel like a princess. She's so perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh. Best present ever. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't believe she's mine. She's mine. She's so mine. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to start using her. Thank you. I'm so excited. I can't. Oh my gosh. I can't take it. This is just. Oh, wow. An emotion. Um, a roller coaster of emotions right now. So, but I hope you really enjoyed just watching the unboxing of my Featherweight 221. And. She is my sweet little mint girl. So I can't wait to start stitching on her. But I think before I do, I will just, I 
would just look at her and pet her because um, she's just, wow. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed this video. So don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any comments down below. Take care. Bye.